Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to talk specifically about the submission setting options under the general settings tab in the admin area of your Premium Press responsive framework um, theme. Okay, so in the admin area again, general setup, submission settings, and it's this page here that we're going to be talking about. Now the first option on the list is allow visitor submissions. And what this means is that you can allow visitors to create a listing without first registering. And as part of the submission process, they enter their username and email and a password, and then they can obviously create an account as part of the submission process. So if I go ahead and show you this, if I turn it on, scroll down, save changes, I also need to make sure my registration options allow people to register because obviously if people can't register then they can't submit so allow users to register so make sure this is turned on as well so general settings again now as you see I'm going to log on to my demo website I'm using the directory theme here however if the uh, submission options are available within the theme you're using um, it will be uh, um, applied to all of the uh, the premium press responsive themes so the um, real estate theme uh, coupon theme classified themes etc the settings are exactly the same so if I go ahead and submit a listing, um, as you can see, because I'm logged in, if I log out first, submit a listing, create listing, as you can see on the cre uh, creation page, on the listing submission page, at the top here, I have this option uh, for a, uh, an account creation, username and an email. And that's what that setting, um, allow visitor submissions does. It, and that enables the option here at the top for users to enter an email um, and uh, a username here. So when they create the listing, an account is automatically created for them as part of the submission process. Okay, so if I log back into my admin. Okay, back to the uh, general setups tab, submission settings. The next one on the list is allow claim listings. Now what this does is allows um, you to set up admin listings um, that can be claimable by visitors. So if you are importing um, large numbers of listings for businesses etc and you want the business to be able to claim the listing or if you are importing a lot of products or um, coupons etc and they uh, belong to a store or um, a product uh, belongs to a company you want the user to be able to claim that listing which means basically that the listing will then appear under the user's account rather than the admin account then we can allow this option. So we turn it on scroll down to the bottom we find any listing that belongs to the admin because obviously the claim listing will only appear on admin listings and if you scroll down to the bottom you can see there's this option does this listing belong to you and your company so obviously the user can then uh, click on the listing and then claim the listing there we go thank you this listing has now been assigned to your account and obviously um, it'll go in the admin on the listing manager it'll be there as pending so if you edit the listing as you can see now the listing is pending so once it's been approved by the admin um, the user can then go ahead and start editing and monitoring, uh, monitoring the listing. Okay, under general setup, submissions tab. The next one down the list, the new listing status. Now, when a user creates a listing, there is two things going to happen. Firstly, obviously, the listing will go straight to pending if no option is set here. Or if you want the listing to go live straight away, then you can click on active and live. Now, if the, u if the user is submitting a paid listing, that is obviously that the user is paying for the listing as part of the submission process, then the listing will go live automatically um, if the payment is successful. And this is obviously to prevent further chargebacks on your account, um, or if you're, say, for example, you're away and you haven't got a chance to log in to, um, to sort out your website, you don't want paid customers to be waiting days and days and days for the listing to go live. So you can set the option here to pending admin review. However, it will still go live automatically if they are paying for the listing. So that's what that option there does. Okay, uh, Google Map locations. Now, if you turn this off um, as part, part of the submission process, okay, if I submit any listing, scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice there's no location options. If I turn this on, if I back to the um, submission settings, turning it on. Okay, refresh the submission page. Okay, at the bottom we've got this location option, your location. And that's obviously the physical location of the uh, directory listing or the product or service that the user is going to submit to your website. And this is quite an important tool because obviously it allows the system to, um, to create um, a, and save values for the location, the country, the state, the city, their um, longitude and latitude addresses for the Google Map options. So if you wish to allow country searches, map searches, etc., make sure you've turned this option on the Google Maps location on here. 
Now underneath this option we have two Google Maps settings, uh, one for the listing page and one for the search results page. And this allows you to basically set a default uh, map zoom um, and the default map coordinates for both the listing page and the search results. Now the listing page refers to obviously the editing of the listing and the actual display on the listing itself and the search results page uh, refers to the, the map on the search results. So if we do a search for example we have this map button here, if I click the map then we get the actual default zoom here um, for the search results. So that's what the search results one's for. And if I click the listing um, and scroll down we can see obviously the, the listing um, Google map here and this is the uh, the default zoom level for that. So if we went ahead and changed the listing one we've got obviously the option between 0 and 20. Um, 0 being zoomed all the way out so if I change it to 0, click save settings, refresh my listing page, scroll down you can see obviously it's a world view here, it zooms as far out as possible um, and if I wanted to zoom a bit closer in uh, back to my submission settings, scroll down, and if I change that to something a bit more appropriate, say 15, okay, we get a more zoomed in, refresh the page, then we get more of a um, a street or kind of a map view, uh, and if I zoomed in all automatically on the last one, so we go down to 20, save settings, refresh, there we go, we get really onto a kind of a road level view there as well. So that's so the kind of the zooming options uh, under the uh, submission settings for the map. And the same applies um, for the Google Maps. Now, just a, an added note, there's the longitude and latitude. So obviously it allows you to set the default. So for example, if the user hasn't clicked any, um, any location yet and you want to set a default longitude and latitude, you can enter it there. And these need to be numeric values. Um, don't enter anything like southeast or anything like that. And you can get that by following these options here. Uh, if I click on the map, if I, okay, we're going to Google, so we're going to go straight to the Google Maps page. If I right-click anywhere on the map, I can zoom in first. Okay, if so I'm zoomed in a bit more, I can zoom all the way into a street level. Uh, if I, if I right-click, I click on what's here. Okay, we get two pointers now. I'm going to click on the, uh, the green pointer. And as you can see, we have this numeric value here. And this is the longitude and latitude. So I would simply copy that. And I would just paste that into the location I wanted to. And that would be a valid longitude and latitude map coordinates um, for the Google Map settings.